Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing you all of the combinations of the Nuno Demigro. So you can look at the picture that Nuno supplies and shows you all the different configurations, but testing them out and actually seeing the functionality of the seats and the bassinets and the captures in those positions, if you can move them or how much room is actually between them is a different thing. So that's what I'm going to do today. Before we get into the video, my wrist is just a little bit sore, so I just want to let you guys know it's just been wrapped so I can keep it still and, um, you know, stop it from hurting and then <laughs> it should be fine. So my wrist is fine. Let's get into this video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And if you want to see any more videos on this pram, I do have a video on how to wash this pram and I will have a review on this pram that's not just a combination video where I will go through all of the features on this pram top to bottom. Plus tell you some little tips, tips and tricks that I know about it that I will teach you about it or how to use it. So with the Nuna Demigro, the top seat can be used at the top and down the bottom. The bassinet can be used at the top and down the bottom and same with the capsules. So it's a really cool setup that they have done where you don't have to buy a special seat to go down the bottom. You can just buy one and it fits both. And that also means that you can have a full size seat for both children instead of a smaller seat down the bottom as well. <laughs> right now I have the seat at the top facing forward for my toddler that wants to see what's going on. And then I have a bassinet down the bottom for my newborn baby that is happy sleeping. I have this clipped back a little bit instead of completely forward so that I myself can just, whoops, why is it not pressing in? So if it's up completely um, straight, I can't see, but if I just press it and pull it back a little bit, now I can see what's going down there with Bub. So I think that that's one of the reasons that they have put this feature in and I absolutely love it. While we have this configuration, I will also show you that the top seat can also face you. It has like two, oh wow, okay. It doesn't really sit up very far. It doesn't sit up very straight in this position. And then it has the other two reclines back there. So let's have a look at the front. Oops, it'd be helpful if I kept it on right. So, wow, this seat, this pram doesn't really sit up, does it? it or is it just deceiving because of this pram liner? It could be deceiving. It doesn't look like it sits up really, really straight. But with the seat facing forward, we have one up, two, three down. So three reclines there, three facing the other way as well. So this way as well. And something pretty cool I liked about this is these adapters here. This is for when you put the second seat on. These can be swapped around. If you decided that you wanted to have it that way it can sit a lot closer and more in position which will help uh, distribute the weight a little bit better but it does lose your vision of your baby at the bottom now if you turn it this way you will have a better view of your baby down the bottom now it's not great And that is as far as up as it goes. I mean, if you put this all the way down, then you'll have a view of your baby as well. But I feel like having the brackets go forward. So I'm not sure which way they were actually designed to go, but I've noticed that they can go on both ways. Now we started this video stream with two seats on. Um, this pram can also go to single mode. So we are going to take this seat off. Put this one over here. Take these adapters off. Take the bassinet off and clip that on, just like that. Put up, put up, all the way. If you have twins, you can put one bassinet at the top like this with the adapters on and one at the bottom. The bottom seat can only face forwards. This is what it looks like as a single frame with the seat on. Make sure that's clicked in. And then it can also face the front, of course, like this. Like that. Um, the cap. 
capsule can go on. So let me just grab a capsule. So there are our adapters for the capsule. I'm trying to go through these quickly. So there's the capsule at the top, just as a single pram. You can, of course, put another one at the bottom. Yeah. And this capsule will face forwards now because the bottom seat only faces forwards. So once it's going to face forward, oh, that's cool. You can put them in. Okay. Yep. Okay, that works. So normally with a stacked pram like this, you have to put the bottom seat on first and then the top seat. But I defied Oz just then by putting the top seat on and then the bottom seat, which is really cool if you have twins and the bottom one's upset, or even if you have a young baby, the, the baby at the bottom is upset and you need to get them out for some reason and you just want to unattach the capsule, it can come out first without having to take the top one off, which is really awesome. So there is our configuration with the two capsules. See this exactly, see this exact configuration with the capsules. If you wanted to have two bassinets, that is the exact same way that two bassinets would fit. The top one would be at the top facing you and the bottom one would be at the bottom facing forwards. sensible because it's doubled so that is the seat adapters and then the capsule adapters on top let me put the capsule on as you'll see I forgot to mention this this is a maxi cozy capsule and it fits right onto the Nuna brackets I don't know how safe that is or if they recommend that I would probably say no think so. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Would you put your baby in that with two sets of adapters that stagger kind of like this, like a staircase? Would you put your baby in the top capsule there or would you not? It gives you a lot more room but I don't know if it's exactly necessary. So you can see that these are the Maxi Cozy or the Nuna adapters, the capsule adapters here. And then this is the seat or bassinet adapter to push it forward. And with the capsule adapters, it already pushes it forward. You know, I think that there is plenty of room in between that and I feel like it's more stable to me. So going back, to the adapters. The adapters, two sets of adapters come with this frame when you purchase it. They are the Nuna um, adapters for the Nuna capsules, but luckily enough, the Maxi Cozy capsule fits onto the Nuna adapter exactly correctly. That, that They have the exact same attachment in the bottom, so they fit on, which is amazing. So now I'm going to take off these capsule adapters put on the seat adapters and then I'm going to place on the seat. So capsule at the bottom, seat at the top with all of your reclines. The seat can also face this way and you have all of the reclines and the hood works fine as well. Um, Oh yeah, it does sit up fine. If you wanted to get into bum, you can move the handle of the capsule out of the way. Make it a little bit easier. And then of course there's a hood on there. So if you wanted to put that up to protect the sun away, and then you can easily get to bum. I'm not sure if I like the capsule down the bottom. But I don't know. <laughs> you can also put the seat down the bottom and the capsule at the top. You can also put the bassinet at the top and the capsule at the bottom. I just feel like the 
just not heaps of room there. Maybe this bag will help me. Let's get rid of the caddy. could put that bassinet down the bottom, but it would face forward, so this way. And that would be your two bassinets. I think it would be rather squashy, but again, you can do this neat little trick where you pull that back to halfway. But I'm just trying to get like a visual of how far this bassinet came over before. So this, lines up with the bottom of this. So, oh wow, it's pretty close. It's, it's pretty snug in there. I think when you put two bassinets on any pram that's top and bottom, it becomes the same thing. The bassinet at the top and the seat at the bottom Remember, this is the same seat that goes at the top. So it's a full-size seat. It sits at the top or the bottom. And you do have recline down here. Three positions. One, two, three. All the way up, all the way down, which is great. I guess you could turn your bassinet forward. I don't see a reason why you would. Um, I just don't like bassinets facing forward. I don't know, they look funny. They're just not meant to face forward, I feel. If you also wanted to use the pram in single mode with these adapters on it so that it pushes the seat up and closer to you, that is also a thing that you can do. For single mode, all you have to do is pull this um, fabric back out, press the velcro into place, and there's your basket. You can also buy this really cool little attachment that's like an extendo basket thing. I wish I had one, but I don't. <laughs> Here's my theory about these little adapters. If you had it in single mode and you wanted bug up higher and closer to you because you see how this goes across and up, then you could use the adapter there. If you decided that this panel was too close, then you can adjust the panel back out. So I feel like this panel has so many cool features and different scenarios on how it can go. I like that the versatility of the options are there. So if you wanted to have the two seats or the two bassinets, they can both recline in certain ways. One thing that I have not mentioned is the two seats. All right, there is our seat. If we want that up nice and close, we can also put another seat down the bottom. Again, it has to face forward. So all you do is detach the velcro, oh sorry, the magnetic strips from there and it can go. So I'm gonna put the seat down the bottom. It would help if it wasn't rolling away from me, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to change these back to basic outlets. So there's our seat, like it has all the reclines. It can only face forwards, but we can also put the second seat up here. I apologize that I don't have two seats. It makes it a little bit hard, but if you have a look at the brochure or like the image, if you type in on Google, do not let me grow. <laughs> Nina Demi grow <laughs> combinations, there will be like a little, um, a bunch of photos that all show you all the different combinations. 
so that is the top seat up here and you will be able to recline it and have space at the bottom as well and same we're facing it this way Oopsies. That's not good. there is still room down here for this child these are for the seats so i'm going to take that off put the capsules on There is our toddler seat at the bottom. That one is sitting up at the moment, so it doesn't have the full hood, but that's totally fine. They can still get out of the sun. If they want it to go to sleep, they can lie down and have the full shade. I feel like for a capsule and a seat, that is my favorite way. I'm sure a lot of people are talking about the basket space and if it is or isn't there. You do lose a lot of your basket space, I agree, but there is still room to put some stuff in at the front here. I don't know if that's a huge deal breaker for so many people or if they can work around it. Hmm. Yeah, that is a lot of space to lose, isn't it? And it's so nice to push. <laughs> it's lovely. So this is my favorite seat combination for the seat and the bassinet. I don't know why, I just think it looks nice. The seat can be facing forward or facing you, whatever Bob wants. They have full recline and I can still easily get down to that child in here if I just wanted to open this bassinet. Full free range to get in there. I do thoroughly believe this pram has more combinations that actually exist and you can move the seats around compared to other similar top and bottom prams. A lot of them just have a seat that is a smaller seat so you have to buy that as an extra seat. I hope this video has helped you. I'm sorry it was like really rushed. I just kind of wanted to get all the information to you in a shorter amount of time, but I don't know if that necessarily happened. Um, if you are thinking about getting this pram, let me know if you decide to get it, if this video was helpful for you to see the combinations. Again, I apologize that I don't have a second bassinet or a second seat, but I am just kind of trying to show you the size between them. And I think with two seats, there is still plenty of room, even if Bub's facing you or facing forward at the top for the baby that is down below. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And if you want to see any more videos on this pram, I do have a video on how to wash this pram and I will have a review on this pram. That's not just a combination video where I will go through all of the features on this pram top to bottom. Plus, tell you some little tips, tips and tricks that I know about it that I will teach you about it or how to use it to the best of its ability. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video.